So this is my kindling splitter that I made. It's uh, ground out of a single piece of 1095 tool steel. It's a quarter inch thick across the back. And I think it's about an inch and a half tall, maybe maybe inch and a quarter. And it's uh, chisel ground, meaning it's sharpened only on one side. And that gives us a nice ability to cut out fine pieces of wood kindling, which is uh, a little more precise than just whacking away at your log with a hatchet. Uh, anyway, I've got this parachute cord handle on here, and I've never been very happy with it. Today, we're going to see if we can't make something a little better. I've got a fairly clean piece of uh, scrap lumber here. I think it's probably oak that uh, has a good size to make our handle slabs uh, once we cut it down to size. Well, it looks like four and a half inches is probably just about right. Okay, first we've got to get this paracord off of here. And the uh, easiest thing to do would be to just cut it. But why waste it if you don't have to? Let's try and uh, unravel it and save as much of this as we can. Okay, the next thing we want to do is get some tape over the blade to uh, protect the edge and to protect my hands. It is fairly sharp. Okay, that's probably good enough for now. Okay, so we've got our kindling splitter all clamped up and glued up. I uh, fixed the handle slabs to it this time with Gorilla Glue. And as you can see, Gorilla Glue is a nasty, foamy, messy bitch. And I don't know that I'm going to use it to affix a knife handle again after this, but I used it this time because it's what I had. And it, it is tough stuff. It just makes kind of a mess, but I think that's not going to matter. Once we get all this ground off, it should look okay. Yep, 
Man, that's ugly. It'll be all right. All of this is coming off. It's gonna work out. Alright, we've got a lot of wood to take off, so I'm going to put a fresh uh, 50 grit belt on the cheap old Harbor Freight uh, sander here, the 1 by 30 And you know, this thing might be a cheap piece of crap, but man, for the price, I have got a lot of use out of it. got this about as finished up as it's gonna get and it kind of worked out but it kind of didn't work out as good as we wanted it to we ended up where the trouble with this was once I got sanding down into this part of the wood it was all hollowed out with little insect tracks or worm tracks of some kind but I thought they weren't gonna be very deep so I thought I would just sand over them well it turned out I got sanding farther and farther into this wood and the bug tracks just kept on going. You see, the trouble with it is now is that it's actually thinner at the top here than it is down here at the bottom. And that's actually pretty much completely backwards from the shape you really want. Most knife handles start wider at the top and kind of taper down towards the bottom in a teardrop shape. This one's backwards. but. It doesn't really need to do much, it's just a kindling splitter. So I think that's gonna work out okay. We're just gonna keep on using it just the way it is. So that's how you put a new handle on an old kindling splitter. Uh, it didn't quite work out the way we wanted it to, but that's okay. We'll do better in the next one.